Hello there, Ray here. We have a brand new snapshot out today, guys. This is 20W13A. This is for the 1.16 version, which is another update. And we have a lot of cool changes added into this new snapshot. You can see we got a new mob here that has these little babies and big ones and running across the lava. We also got a new type of kind of cobblestone generator. And there's changes to the pigland traits as well as how villagers are able to do their farming, more automation. And remember guys, go ahead and subscribe. It's currently only 27% of you guys are subscribed. And let's try to get that up to 40%. And don't forget guys, right after the snapshot review, we are going to be opening up a snapshot testing stream where you guys, the viewers, can hop on as we test out new types of farms and other cool tricks we can do with these new features. You can find all our information down below. Now let's get into all the details about the newest snapshot. Added a new mob into the nether. That is Strider. Here's the spawn eggs and create them. This is what it looks like. It's so crazy looking. It has a little guy riding on top of a big guy. It makes the strangest noise. They said these new mobs will live in lava lakes in the nether. So they can naturally kind of spawn in here. Over here, you can see some of them that spawned in. Looks like they spawned directly into the lava. Look like they have like a little face, eyes, and some hair, kind of whiskey hair. And their legs really just kind of barely go into the lava. You can see that there is little ones as well as big ones. The little ones will ride on top of the big ones. But none of them are damaged by lava and they can walk on top of it. And they can also be saddles. Here's a saddle. If I right click them, the saddle is on top of his head. And if I right click him with the open hand, now I am riding him. Look at that guys. That is so crazy looking. I said they also really like the smell of warped fungus. Here's some warped fungus. Put that in her hand. Oh, it looks like the breed with warped fungus. Hey! Look at that. We got the advancement. So we bred to these guys with warped fungus. And they will come over here. <laughs> I'll try to come to you. If you're holding the warp fungus in your hand. And there's a new type of carrot on the stick. This is warp fungus on a stick. And you make this just like you do a carrot on a stick. Where you have a normal fishing rod and a warp fungus. And you get one warp fungus on a stick. Now if you go ahead and ride one of these guys. Saddle them up. Ride them. And you have the warp fungus on a stick. He will pretty much go whatever direction you're pointing. So pointing this way. You can walk that way. Oh, look at that. You can walk on top of little guys. Look at you can walk on top of other guys. That's so cool. Oh, he's taking damage. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, it's like he's falling down, but... Man, you got you, you to you walk on top of other entities. That's pretty unique. I don't see that much many other mobs. I use the little guys. I think I'm stuck up here, actually, now. Now, if I right-click, does it make it go faster? I think I'm stuck. Oh, he died. Oh, he dropped string. Okay, let's try this guy. Do, 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 do. If I right click, does it go fast? Oh yeah, it goes faster. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Jeezies, that is really cool. Goes whatever direction pointing. If I go into survival, yeah. Seem to be non-aggressive. That's really awesome. These other guys are like attracted to the stick. So can I take them over to some land? Yeah, you can get them up on land and he will walk around the land. He walks kind of slow, so they're definitely designed to be walked around the lava, but you can walk them anywhere else too. They're pretty good at jumping up uh, different heights as well. You make them walk off the edge. Yeah. They do have amount of hearts. Looks like they have 10 hearts. Such a cool little creature. You make them come out of the water. Oh yeah, they will come out of the water. Like the carrot on the stick. Not like aggressive or anything. Let's see if I hit one of them. Yeah, well, they don't do anything when you hit them. So they die, they drop string. And also, if they're having a saddle, they drop that as well. It seems like these guys also like to climb these lava flows. And it seems like you sometimes can actually fly with these guys uh, when you actually come out of this. So it might be actually a bug. They also added a new block called Lodestone. And you can craft this up by using eight chiseled stone bricks around one netherite ingot. That would produce one lodestone. You go ahead and place this down and then if you have a compass you can right click the lodestone and it will lock the compass onto that block's location. So you can go anywhere in another dimension and it's always going to point you back to this location. Now normally you've seen the compasses are pretty messed up. In another dimension they just kind of swiggle around all different locations that aren't very helpful. Now it's a cool use for 
the compass in this dimension. Also kind of has an enchanted look to it. If we hover over it, you see it says lodestone compass. Now you don't really have to get worry about getting lost in another dimension. Now, instead of basalt just coming from the generated kind of pillars in the nether dimension, you can now make your own basalt. And the way you do this is by using blue ice as well as lava. And by having some soul soil nearby, so that's what we got right here. If we put some lava here, you can see that right there, right where the lava kind of fell in between blue ice as well as soul soil, it produced some of this basalt. So very cool that you can actually make like a stone generator if it's here in another dimension. So here's a little setup here. You can see it's pretty simple. You only really need one of these. Kind of like a cobblestone generator, water one side, lava the other side, but it's in the nether dimension. So you can make like an automatic system that player mines this up, or you can push it into like a TNT blast chamber and get this out. It's something cool that we can work on during a snapshot stream. Make sure you guys join that testing stream. They also made a change to villagers and farmer villagers. They'll now be able to compost seeds into the compost bins automatically. So before they just used it kind of as a workstation, but they wouldn't really add anything to it. So let's put a bunch of wheat seeds on this farmer over here. And once he has the excess of it, he'll put some of it into the composter. He won't be able to use all of it to actually seed like a wheat field. And if he would happen to fill up on wheat seeds, he wouldn't be able to actually plant any wheat. So I throw like some wheat down. You see how he picked up the wheat, even though there was a bunch of seeds here. Let's go ahead and move his workstation closer. He also made it so that farmers will also share if they have any extra wheat. That way other farmers can also make bread with it. So this is a kind of cool way to have farmers use their compost bins that they normally generate with. They also change piglins and the way that they will barter for the new soul speed books. They're now more likely to get soul speed books as well as boots that have soul speed on them from bartering with the piglins. So it should make it easier to get these boots. But you can see the guys will still, as soon as the boots fall into the ground, they still will try to pick them up and put them on themselves. So you have to make sure to pick them with hoppers before they take them. So here we got some bo boots right there. Looks like the soul speed. And we also got one of the books. So yeah, it is much more likely to get those. In the last snapshot review, I suggested that they should make it so that you can use dispensers to recharge the respawn anchors. And these are a way to set your spawn point here in the nether dimension. And they have actually taken that suggestion and implemented it. So let's go ahead and grab a dispenser, put it on the side over here, make sure it points into it. And then what you use to recharge it is just some glowstone. So put some glowstone in there and then we go ahead and power this. There, we see it works. Two, three, four. Now if you power it any more times, you don't lose any glowstone, but it also doesn't charge anymore. You can hook up a really simple device where you just detect when there is a change here and just power this dispenser over here. So with a little simple setup like this, comparator going to a block, going to redstone dust, come around with observer back into the dispenser. It should be possible for us to recharge this as soon as we die. Let's go ahead and just die in the lava over here. And we'll hit respawn. And there you go. Went ahead and filled it all up again. So yeah, very nice little setup, easy to do. And you can see our villagers over here are using the composters. It looks like they might have also picked up the bone mill. I've seen some bone mill fly around. It looked like they filled up both those composters. And it looks like they did. Oh yeah, they do pick it up. That's cool. So they can actually collect the bone mill that comes out of it as well. So they must be able to right click it, collect that, and put it back in again. So do they use that bone mill? They must be able to use that bone mill to, to grow plants again. There's some more land. Land don't stay alive too long in the other dimension. If there's a crop on it, it should stay alive. They did pick up the bone meal, so it's in their inventory. So there's some bone meal right there. I picked up. They filled this up really fast. It looks like that guy accidentally updated this uh, wheat. So we definitely can make some new automatic farms. I think I might have seen some wheat there, look like. But they are farming this little area up very quickly. They also made some changes to the jigsaw block, which is a block that you can get by using the gift command. And this is mostly used to kind of set down structures automatically. It now has one of 12 different orientations and they added a new property of a joint type to describe the attached pieces that can be rotated. So essentially what you do is make like this thing placed on a structure and then there'll be another one of these blocks that makes it so that structures can be added to either side of them depending on what type of jigsaw block it is. And they also add it so you can rotate it rollable as well as aligned. They have stuff like target pool, name, 
target name as well as it turns into because after the structure generates you kind of want to turn this block into something else so that it's not seen you can see that the villagers here are now bone milling these up they're ready to be harvested so just with two villagers they've been working pretty well and getting these crops grown and harvested and here you can see the guys are trading bread and they're also breeding they're kind of like self-efficient now they can breed and uh, repopulate of course these guys can't repopulate because they don't have a bed and they actually did no bug fixes in this version like i say overall this is a really cool snapshot of these guys these new mobs they're just so different from from anything else that we have i find it very very cool here we got two big guys running on top of each other definitely be able to do a lot of testing with them and see what kind of cool stuff we can come up with during our snapshot testing streams click that link down in the description and head over to the stream so you guys can take part in discovering new things. Let me know what you guys think about these new changes down in the comments. And if it's something you want us to test about this new snapshot, tell us down in the comments. We can try it out during the stream. And guys, don't forget to go ahead and leave a like on this video as well as share with other Minecrafters so they can see what's new in Minecraft. I like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.